And welcome back. Here's a look at our tower cam time lapse from today. We saw plenty of rain shower activity into the Fargo area, but it was warm enough for rain as temperatures did stay close to 40 degrees. We went through the afternoon. We've cooled off a little. We're at 36 degrees right now at Fargo. Grand Forks at 38, 32 right now at Valley City, and a 34 at Jamestown and Devils Lake. And we're into uh, the mid 30s out toward Detroit Lakes and at Fergus Falls. Still have that winter storm warning in effect for central and western North Dakota through uh, Wednesday. Wednesday at 6 p.m. and for Foster, Stutzman, Lamore, and Dickey County, still a winter weather advisory through the same time frame as we go. Uh, as we uh, will see some more uh, snow shower activity in that area. Now here in the valley, we are just seeing uh, bands of rain move through from Fargo up toward Grand Forks and just off to the east. We are seeing the heaviest right now, and it is actually mixing with some snow, especially as you make your way north and to the west of the Fargo area with a clearer spot and uh, breaking the action just to the south of Valley City. But making your way off to the west of Jamestown and Devil's Lake, there's the accumulating snow. And they could pick up several more inches out that way, especially as you make your way out toward the Bismarck and Minot area. This low pressure system is continuing to make its way through, still moving off to the northeast. We're still in the warm sector from it as it is still pumping in some warm air from the south. But on the cool side, they're seeing all that snow. The low pressure system will eventually make its way out of there. We're going to be on the cool side of the system, but the good news is it will get rid of most of its moisture by the time that does happen. So some snow showers are possible Wednesday and Thursday. But as we go through the overnight period, Temperatures are going to level off and stay into the mid-30s in most areas. Some areas, especially up toward Grand Forks, into the upper 30s. Staying all rain as we go through the, uh, the overnight period through tomorrow morning. And then it changes to some snow showers. Now, by this time, most of the moisture is going to start to be wrapping up. We're going to stay into the upper 30s in most places. So the good news is most of the snow that does fall might not uh, accumulate on the ground. Now, there's your rain mixed with some possible snow showers. A high temperature near 39 in the Fargo area as we go through the day tomorrow with Jamestown Devil's Lake reaching a high of 35 with that rain snow mix. We're going to keep a rain snow mix even as we make our way into Lakes Country. They'll see highs tomorrow into the upper 30s. Then for the day on Wednesday, again, most of the moisture from the system is gone out there, but as you can see with the blue on the map, some scattered snow showers are possible and temperatures will be a little cooler as we'll be into the low to mid 30s in most places. Taking a look at these snow Snowfall accumulation out toward the Bismarck Minot area. They could pick up 6 to 12 inches from this one. As you make your way just to the west of Jamestown and Devil's Lake, we're going to see a band of 3 to 6 inches. And then we do have that band of 1 to 3 inches from Valley City out toward the uh, Canadian border. And here in the valley areas, we are just going to see less than 1 inch. That's what we're going to say because most of the snowfall accumulation is going to happen as we go through Wednesday and Thursday when most of the moisture is done with from this system. And it's working its way out. Here's the photo of the day. It's called Colorful Sunset in Comstock, Minnesota. Thank you, Tiffany Qualley, for this one. I'm going to use it in the background of the seven-day forecast. And we're going to stay into the upper 30s with that rain-snow mix on Tuesday. We're turning to all snow showers, but it will be late for the day on Wednesday and early Thursday before we start to dry out. 34 year high on Thursday, 33 on Saturday. Uh, partly cloudy skies through Sunday. Temperatures back up into the upper 30s and 33 under mostly cloudy skies. We stay dry for the day on Monday. There we go. A nice dry weekend on Monday. Yeah, it looks good for the weekend if you don't mm -hmm. mind cooler air. Yes, exactly. This time mm -hmm. of year, you know, we just take what we get. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm.